place to catch up with friends, relax in a friendly atmosphere and enjoy great service and food. Then Buckley's can offer a fun evening that the whole family can enjoy. In our bistro you can enjoy a selection from our extensive menu including family favourites. On those sunny days our alfresco is the perfect setting to enjoy a meal catch up with friends or watch your favourite sport on two large plasma TVs. Having a special occasion can be made easy by hiring our newly renovated function rooms. Buckley's, a venue of class that provides all your entertainment and function needs. Hello and welcome again to another edition of the Geelong and District Footy Show coming to you from Channel 31 on a magnificent Saturday morning. Yep, it's on again, big round of matches on this afternoon. Hello, I'm Dick Philpott and yes, last weekend was saw some fantastic results. Invalid too good from which you'll see they're getting closer and closer to the Blue but Owen Lewis kicking five and he's now running second on the goal kicking table between behind Toddy the Body Elsie East Geelong absolutely murdered Manic Boom particularly in the first quarter kicking 11 goals Adam Scroblack back to sensational form with eight goals on the board there Bell Post till the Panthers they were much too good for the North Geelong Magpies who tried hard all day but just could not crack it for a win Werribee Centrals up at the Duck Pond absolutely creamed the Belmont Lions and brought them back to reality Cry Devils yep too good for Anarchy and uh, Lee Clifford kicking eight goals an ex North Geelong boy yes it hurts folks Andrew Ferguson BOG absolutely sensational game and the Tommy Tigers absolutely murdered the Geelong West Cheaters Christian Hyland from the Old Brigade absolutely fantastic best on the ground no less than 13 goal kickers for the Tommy Tigers it's unbelievable and of course, yes, we've got a great round of matches on this afternoon. But with me doing the talking once again, I've assembled some of the biggest names and brains and Jason to talk about the footy this afternoon. First of all, the no, well, the Geelong Reserves Premiership player and Bannockburn legend, Dale Smith. Good morning, Dale. Yes, good morning, Dick. And uh, just apology from Jake the Phantom Burke. He's uh, got a strong pull from down Sailway. Sorry? A strong pull from down Sailway. And he's decided to stay down there a bit longer now. So we're just starting to ask a few questions here in the panel. I have found out with the dead button there with seven seconds to <laughs> Well, we may not be still on here but that's okay. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and the man cackling in the background, of course, is one of the greatest or one of the most recognisable faces on the GDFL footy show. Been around a long time, unfortunately. And I speak, of course, yes, but he is my good mate, Jason Doherty. Good morning, Jason. Don't suck up now. No, I'm not. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Fano said I'd be nice to you this morning. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Jason. Yeah, and, uh, nice. A good game last week. Good call. Oh, he was great. Thanks very much. You want to elaborate <laughs> I'm on it? I'm not helping you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. It was actually wasn't as cold as I thought. Good past players day. Dale didn't attend though. He had to do some other duties. So no, it was a good day. And the great man himself, Billy Keldo, was there. Of he course, he was. I spoke to him. He looked okay. Laurie Davies. Yes, the he great. Was, I think I saw. No, yeah, no, Laurie. No, right. was he there? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Great there was legends. There was a few. Uh, there was a few legends. A few great. young legends too. Well, unbelievable. That's good. And uh, well, one of the great legends, of course, was um, Alan Woodman. He was a batting burn man, wasn't he? He was for a while. Around. Was Woody I didn't, I didn't see him. No. No, I, saw, up, uh, I saw Ronnie Pilgrim, of course. You know, young Ronnie legend. Pilgrim used to wear the bike helmet running around on the ground. No, that, that was Matt. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so I'm right up to date with the footy fans. You've got no worries about that. Ronnie could pass as your son, Dick. <laughs> He obviously, oh, he's wasn't, he obviously right. wasn't the little pilgrim. He's a rubber of the That's the one, mate. You're going right now. Uh, once again, we have a very special guest on the show this morning, and we've decided to show we are completely unbiased here, us guys, when we talk about footy. We love them as well. We wouldn't have a game without them. The director of umpiring in Geelong in the local footy scene, the Geelong Footy Umpires League, Steve Kearney. Welcome to the footy show. Thank you, uh, Dick. Good morning. Oh, fantastic. fantastic to have you here as well. And, of course, uh, big things happening around, uh, well, umpiring circles at the moment. And uh, I've heard that uh, the Encompass Cup, it's called, uh, between the Benny Burn Footy Club and Inverlee, yeah, under 18s, yep. and uh, some of the disabled uh, umpires out there uh, this afternoon, or this morning, uh, be uh, having a crack at it and everything like that. But the interesting thing you said to us off air was that um, a lot of these young kids have been around umpiring for quite some time. They're not just coming together for this one particular day, that they're out there all the time. They're out there every week, yep, yep. And we've brought them together yep. this week for the uh, Encompass Cup. So, um, what, what are some of the disabilities that some of these kids have? Um, the two field umpires, one yep. has a, a learning disability, yep. Daniel Dorling. Um, Nick Kosky has cerebr cerebral palsy. Mm. Now, uh, um, finds it very difficult to use the uh, right side of his body. Uh, wears a whistle on his left hand, but mm -hmm. um, you'll see Nick do uh, a very good job. Fantastic. Uh, on the boundary, Terry Maloney's been around a long time, Terry. Uh, he's got an acquired brain injury. Um, we've got um, in the goals uh, Luke McLean with Asperger's syndrome. Jake Baker Brooks has autistic. He's the other goal umpire, and we've we've sub subconded uh, three girls from uh, Encompass. In actual fact, 
uh, Cassie Berry, Sam Sullivan, and Ellen Richardson, and uh, they have uh, intellectual disabilities. Mm -hmm. So they're in for their first game. That is fantastic. Now, the Geelong Footy Umpires League, is this basically a first in football in Victoria for that, or have the other leagues encompassed the same thing? Excuse the pun, of course, being the Encompass Cup. Um, are they doing the same thing around Victoria, you know, or is this something that's a special project for the Geelong Football Umpires? No, listen, it was a brainchild of um, Brendan Beveridge, the chairman. Yep. Um, Br Brendan noticed we had um, a number of umpires with disabilities and decided that uh, spoke to Encompass, and um, we, we put together a panel for the game, um, decided on an under-18 game, the Geelong District Football League embraced it. Um, Inverlee and Bannockburn have both embraced it as clubs. So it um, so, uh, should be terrific. Mm. And we understand uh, it's drawn, drawn a bit of interest from the AFL. The AFL are interested. Yep. Um, and, um, yeah, it, uh, we, we understand it's it probably the first time that uh, this has happened uh, where um, a full panel of umpires with disabilities have come together yeah, for the game it. of football. It's, an it's a great uh, great concept, uh, Doug. It is, Dick, and uh, we'll be part of it. And I haven't spoken to the boys about it as yet, but uh, it was sort of only told to me over the last couple of weeks. And uh, as I said, I'm looking forward to the game, actually. Uh, I suppose I, I was a bit critical of some of the umpires in the senior <laughs> level the other week, and uh, <laughs> I like to have my say when I think it's wrong. But, look, I'm, I just think these kids uh, should do a great job, and um, my kids have always been instructed just to get on with a game of football once a decision's been made uh, it's good to probably sit and listen to me in the box. They probably get a bit carried away a bit. But, uh, no, look, I'm looking forward to the, uh, the morning anyway. I guess the biggest concern that you've got, Steve, is the fact that uh, there is a certain element that do follow football in our league, every league, that um, may be upsetting to some of these kids that they sometimes forget and give them an absolute barrage like they do abled umpires. And uh, is that a concern to you? Or would it will it affect them in any way if there are those complete clowns there? And... If they are, obviously, the Bannockburn Footy Club and the Inverley Footy Club obviously would take some action, of course, and, and keep an eye on things like that anyway. But it, it is a bit of a concern, though. No, no, no not really. Not, re not really. No, no the, the umpires are out there every week anyway. So um, um, you'll find that unless you unless you um, unless the disabilities are pointed out, you probably won't notice to to, yeah. to, a, to a great except for probably Nick who has the cerebral palsy, um, noticeable. But, yeah, the guys are out there every week, so so you probably won't notice. Mm. Fantastic. Steve, stick around for the rest of the show with us and uh, we'll get your opinion on who's going to win the games. And, obviously, when you do make your selections, we know that uh, money may have changed then. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Um, stick around after the break. We've got Dale's under 18 segment. Uh, talk about the games on this afternoon. More of the ump. And uh, it'll be a fantastic show back after this. The place to catch up with friends, relax in a friendly atmosphere and enjoy great service and food. Then Buckley's can offer a fun evening that the whole family can enjoy. In our bistro you can enjoy a selection from our extensive menu including family favourites. On those sunny days our alfresco is the perfect setting to enjoy a meal. Catch up with friends or watch your favourite sport on two large plasma TVs. Having a special occasion can be made easy by hiring our newly renovated function rooms. Buckley's, a venue of class that provides all your entertainment and function needs. 